fine. How are you, readers? Because I'm fine. I'm fine. And I hope that you are too. <laughs> Hi, readers and friends. I hope that you are fine. I hope that you're wonderful because I am so happy that you're here. I am Lori from Wits, and this is another picture book read aloud and literacy activity. Every single week, we read another book and practice another literacy skill with an activity that we post at witchchicago.org. They're designed for students in grades kindergarten, probably all the way up to fourth grade, and they help students become strong, strong readers and get to see and, and enjoy beautiful books together. You can find all the week's activities, including this week's, and all the videos and much more reading fun at witchchicago.org. This week, we are reading the very interesting and beautiful book by National Geographic called Animal Ark, celebrating our wild world in poetry and pictures. The photographer, he took all the pictures, is Joel Satore. The poet, he wrote all the words, is Kwame Alexander. I'm excited to read this with you. But before we get started, I want us to talk about the very important skill of visualization. <laughs> I said it big because it's a big word, but it's just a fancy word for saying, imagining images in your mind described by words that you hear or read. To visualize, it's just to create pictures in your mind based on the text. Here's what I mean. I'm not going to show you this, but I'm going to describe in words one of my favorite items in my home. You can close your eyes if it helps, but all I want you to do is imagine in your head what I'm describing. And at the end, I'll reveal it. You ready? Okay, so this thing is kind of bumpy and it's about as big as a, mm, a kid's foot. And it's bright pink. It's kind of sharp around the edges. It's heavy. It is beautiful and shiny. And I would say that it sits on my shelf and it's from outside. Can you imagine what it looks like? Can you imagine the colors that I described, the shiny pink, the rough edges? Do you have an image in your mind? I hope so. Here is what it was, what it is. Oh, this is a rose quartz crystal. And it's so pretty. And I feel like it kind of gives me good luck. And it's one of my favorite things in my house because I think it kind of has magical powers. <laughs> and it's just beautiful. Did you imagine this in your brain? Well, if you did, you visualized it. You didn't even see the image, you didn't even see it, but you imagined it in your brain. Today, while we're reading Animal Art, I want you to listen to the poet's words. And at certain points, I'm gonna stop and have you imagine what he's describing. I'm not gonna let you see the pictures first. I'm gonna just read the words. And so you're gonna to have to visualize those images in your brain. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get started. Animal Ark. Chorus of creatures singing our names. See what we can save together. And this hidden flap. The photographer snuck in all these beautiful images right in the beginning of all these different creatures. Look into these eyes, full of secret places to hide and play. <laughs> Right away, I covered up the image so you can't see, but I'm gonna read the words. A feather rainbow dance. Hmm, a feather rainbow dance. What do you imagine? Take a moment to visualize. What would feathered rainbow dance look like? 
This is what I imagined. <laughs> a bird with lots of beautiful feathers dancing around. <laughs> and he's losing his feathers as he dances. And that's what the photograph actually was about. Did you imagine that as well? Did you imagine something different? Curiosity, that leaps. Fox do jump high. Homes of courage. Unhumbled bats. That is not a race. <gasps> because their home is their shell, right on their back. And it's not a race because these guys are so slow. Embracing wonder. Mm, he looks very curious. Sliding and gliding, waiting for you to notice. Spots blend unseen. so they can stalk, swim, and sneak up on us. They have similar coloring, interesting. Listen to the rumble, giant stomping feet, calling brothers, sisters. Blink and you'll miss the hush of waves, tiny feet scurrying inside dunes. <laughs> I hope you didn't see it. I tried to cover it up before you could. I'm gonna read the words and I want you to imagine what is under my paper, okay? So just close your eyes and imagine what are these words describing? Enchanting electric, golden colors, jumping, glowing, singing. I'll read it again, enchanting electric. Golden colors, jumping, glowing, singing. I'm gonna show you what I imagined. I imagined fireflies buzzing around <laughs> because they're golden. And then when they light up, they kind of seem electric to me. And they're just, they, they, they jump around and they fly around the grass in the summertime, especially. The photograph, though, is of, excuse me, <gasps> look at those, what are those? <laughs> those grasshoppers, look how beautiful colors they are. Wings like a cape, ready to, ready for flight into the sweet, dark night. Wild at heart with slow measured moves and big, and eyes big as two sunsets. Those are big eyes. How many feathers does it take to make a wing? To fly, share a sky. Wow, they snuck in some more pictures. More beautiful animals. Coils of hiss. Mohawk plume. Sharp, stinging beauty. Wow. Look at that hair. Did you imagine what he was talking about when he said mohawk plume? No, I didn't imagine that from glistening sea to rising sun. Color me ancient and scared, sacred, excuse me. Mm -hmm. All right, we have one more chance to visualize. I'm gonna read the words and I want you to try to imagine what the photograph is of. This time I did not draw one because I want you to take a moment and 
try to draw or make a sketch of what you think these words are describing. Turquoise and gold, camouflage in the trees, moods changing with the breeze. I'll read that again. Turquoise and gold, camouflage in the trees, moods changing with the breeze. Now turquoise is kind of like a blue and green mixed together. And if you're not sure what camouflage means, it just means to blend in to disguise yourself. Do you imagine, do you, under, do you know what, what animal they're describing? Can you visualize it? Turquoise and gold. That changes colors with its mood to camouflage it. Take a moment to sketch, pause the video if you need to. I'm gonna reveal the animal behind my paper. <gasps> Look, it's another blizzard friend. What beautiful colors. I believe he is an iguana. Very similar to my friend Spike. How like you mean it. The world is listening. <laughs> A pair of claws. A thousand silent waving arms grab hold of us. Innocent wonder. <laughs> Tiny growls. Aww. New to the chase. <laughs> a hundred feet walking without a sound. One direction. Wow, that's a lot of feet, mister. <laughs> Spooky web spinning, a deadly tattoo. Stay away. Wow, that's a very interesting looking spider. He looks pretty big. Strong yet gentle, black and white, championing human nature. Oh, panda bears. Grandfather of the hunt, fierce and fast and favored Forever? I wonder why they had the question mark. What do you think? The end.